So there's been a problem for a while in FF14. And if you're not a toxic player or if you don't you don't know anyone who's encountered toxicity in this game explicitly, you won't notice it and you probably haven't been aware of it. There's been a huge problem with blacklisting players. It's it's the reason why we use a crossword link shell instead of me just adding everyone to my friends list because if I delete you from my friends list, you can still see me. You can see me, you can still see where I am. You can teleport to me and you can stalk me. No, blacklisting does not fix that currently. Blacklisting doesn't stop you from seeing where I am. It doesn't stop you from coming to find me. It doesn't do anything to actually stop you from interacting with me in any other way other than I will not queue with you in Duty Finder. That's all blacklisting does right now. And people have been complaining since I'm going to, dare I say, a Realm Reborn even. Hey, people are harassing so-and-so in this game hey i'm being harassed hey these no lifers are following me around and making my day-to-day -day in the game a living hell can you guys do something no and from my understanding the reasoning was if you remove someone from your friends list and it removes yours from theirs automatically what i've heard is that the reason given was essentially that it was essentially rude so it was something that wasn't really considered to be a possibility Based on this live letter, I think people finally made enough noise. They added a a term filter. They added a mute list properly. And apparently some estate expulsion things, which we'll see that in a second. And lodestone privacy as well. God, it looks like Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. <laughs> Blacklisted characters will be displayed in certain situations where visibility is necessary, such as when partied together in a duty. Even when their character model is visible, their name will be displayed as unknown in the party list and on their nameplate. Furthermore, a notification will indicate where, when they speak during duties and players may elect to temporarily see what they've written via the subcommand menu. So you don't even have to see these people. When you blacklist someone now, they literally disappear. You could just pretend they don't exist. And... I think that's the best part because, yes, they're still visible where needed, but their character literally disappears. You, They do not exist in your world anymore ever again. You don't even have to see them now, which is so nice. Uh, the mute list hide a muted character's chat message applicable to blacklisted characters prior to 7.0 and then it applies to all characters on a muted character service account. So this is nice to see. It's not just a single character thing because a lot of people, what they'll do when they stalk or harass people in this game is they'll find you on the lodestone. If you don't know what the lodestone is, the lodestone is essentially a public repository for FF care. I believe if we just come to the lodestone and we search Selenia Altweb, should, yep, here it is. It'll pull me up so you can just find me. And if you type in anything, you like it will pull every character that matches that search query so you could search my bard alt that's trapped on i think the crystal data center uh finel saltanath you could find her if you search gripper gobble you're gonna find you're gonna find my other alt so you could just stalk me through my alts if you wanted to and being able to make that server wide so that if I block you, you are gone is very nice. I swear I saw a screenshot with the blacklist that explains something else. Oh, here it is. In addition to the blacklisted characters' messages, their model will also now be hidden. This applies to all characters tied to a blacklisted character's service account, applicable to characters registered from 17 or from 7.0 and onwards. The blacklist will distinguish between characters blacklisted before and after 7.0. So if you blacklist one person's character, you blacklist their server, their service account. So they can't even make an alt to come fuck with you. They have to make a whole new account if they want to fuck with you. Okay. That's fine. I'll take that. It's a pain in the ass to make a new account with this game. That's fine. Muted character names will display as normal when in the same party or alliance during duties and notification will indicate when they speak. Okay, so muted will mute just like the blacklist will. Characters blacklisted at any time prior to 7.0 will be carried forward. Up to 200 characters can be blacklisted. 
Data is stored server side. Characters will remain blacklisted across all platforms, but as character names are saved client side, their names will only display when playing on a device that they were registered on. Be gone from my fantasy twat! <laughs> Blacklist you! <laughs> Okay, so blacklist is like a an actual you erase them from existence. Mute appears to be a local character blacklist. So mute is stored client side and muted people will only be muted on the account they were initially muted on. Okay. So then term filter is it filters out messages containing specified terms. Ooh. Applies to say, tell, yell, shout, and slash emote in all circumstances, including duties. Will not apply to link shell, cross world, party, or free company chat. So, can I pick what chat I want to filter it from, or is it just a global? So, if I just mute out, um, if I if I mute the term ERP, because I don't want to see these stupid guilds that are constantly spamming and shout chat. Term filter meowdy. Man, that's so mean. You know how many people are going to say meowdy in, in dungeons now and get blacklisted immediately? Estate is expulsion. Free company masters and estate owners will have access to this function. Free company masters and estate owners can designate up to four free company members or housemates to have access to the function. When the players with expulsion privileges are in the estate, anyone registered to their blacklist will be automatically expelled when attempting to enter the estate grounds. That's nice. That's nice. That's really nice. Enhance lodestone privacy settings. Greater control over privacy. Limit who can view certain aspects of your lodestone character page, such as profile, achievements, and friends. Visibility settings can be limited to friends, free company members, link show members, etc. Remove yourself from lodestone character searches. Okay, cool. They're actually doing this properly. That's nice to see. This has been an ongoing issue. Block list added to lodestone. Notifications regarding the activity and blog entries of blocked players will no longer display. Blocked players will be unable to see your activity. The above in game the above settings will also apply to characters added to the blacklist in game. Okay, that's good. That's super nice.